Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at Lake Alma State Park again and I'd like to introduce you to red pine. Red pine is not native to Ohio, but it's fairly common. It's actually native to the Lake States region and actually the upper portion of the Lake States region. So the northern parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan, and then on up into Canada. And where it grows is on kind of intermediate pine sites. So the really good pine sites up there, um, you're going to have white pine. Kind of in the middle, you're going to have red pine. And then on the very dry, sandy sites, you're going to have jack pine, which is a short needle pine. But red pine has been planted fairly widely in uh, Ohio, especially on old field, and it was used in reclamation projects. So in old fields, it was often planted in pure stands like this stand here at Lake Alma. Sometimes it was interplanted with white pine, and when that happened, usually the white pine won. The, the red pines grew fairly fast for a while, but eventually they slowed up and the white pines dominated. And then you've got some pure stands like this of red pine. So how do we identify red pine? Well, first of all, it is a pine. So the needles are gonna be in bundles or bunches. With red pine, they're gonna be in bundles of two. They're relatively large needles. They can be about six inches in length. And even if you're not able to reach the canopy, which often you can't, don't forget that you can look on the ground and typically easily find needles on the ground to at least figure out how many needles are in the bundle or bunch, which again is two. And the length can be up to about six inches in length. So they're gonna range probably from that five to six inch range on average. So again, needles in bundles or bunches of two, up to six inches in length. They're very straight. They don't have a lot of twist to them. And one of the cool characteristics, if you take that needle and just bend it in half, they easily break when bent. And that's the only species of pine that I'm aware of that does that easily. So again, red pine, two needles, straight, and break easily when bent. They do have a relatively large terminal bud. It can be up to about three quarters of an inch in length. That bud is often whitish or resinous, which means it's just got sap or resin on it and it will tend to turn white. And a lot of times those scales are kind of fringed. Um, cones are very tiny. They're only about two inches in length. They are not armed like the Virginia pine we introduced earlier. They have, the Virginia pine has the sharp prickles and so does pitch pine. Red pine is not going to have prickles. They're going to be rounded. They're going to be smooth on the ends. The cones are also sessile, which means they don't have a stalk. So they sit right on the base or under the twig. Another great identifier for red pine is the bark. When it's a mature tree like this, it kind of, in my mind, it says it's reddish or reddish browns, but sometimes it's almost maroon. As you get a little higher up, you might pick up a little orange tint to it. But down here, it's going to be a reddish brown, sometimes maroon and pretty flaky bark. If you look up, it's a very good self pruner. It loses those lower branches. And then you get these small oval shaped crowns up there. And when you look up at the tops of these trees, you're gonna see needles out on the branch tips. They look like little tufts. Um, these needles can last about four to six years and then they'll fall to the ground and new needles replace them each year. So you're gonna have needles from one year old to up to six years old on the tips of these branches. But they form nice little tufts out at the tip. So again, this is red pine. It was widely used for reclamation planting after a lot of areas were abandoned from agriculture from about the Great Depression up until about the 60s. And it's pretty common to find pure plantations of red pine and sometimes it's intermixed with white pine. So again, thank you. And please take at least part of your day to spend it in the woods.